The story isn't deep. It's for children. It's a Mario movie for crying out loud. It's not for you. It's made for children to enjoy but has plenty of references and nostalgia so that parents can sit along and not want to blow their brains out being dragged to a child's movie. It doesn't need a deep plot for it to be good for what it is. It actually takes the damsel in distress trope of all the Mario games and flips it on the head. Luigi is the one captured and Peach is a badass. The worry about Chris Pratt that people had was for not. He sounds great and it makes sense for the context of the film. All the cast is a great job. If I didn't know Peach was played by Anya Taylor-Joy I would never have guessed. Same for Keegan-Michael Key as Toad. Charlie Day, Seth Rogen and Jack Black are instantly recognizable but that isn't a knock. Their voices fit really well. Especially Jack Black as Bowser. I can't imagine anyone else doing as good a job with the character. The action pieces are super fun, the jokes mostly landed which surprised me, and the film is stunning. Every shot is beautiful. You really buy into their world. The references to the Mario games and just video games in general are perfect and virtually infinite. From sound effects, to the score, to tiny details in the background. It seems there's something every other 30 seconds to have a cheeky smirk at, to think, I got that. My main criticism is the pacing. Often today, I find too many scenes to drag on or seem out of place. This isn't its problem. The opposite intact. I felt like it blasts you over and over with new information. You never get much of a chance to settle and fully admire the joke or the action in the scene. The ending of the film too also reminded me a lot of the second Sonic movie, but that's just the nature of how these adaptations need to be. My other main criticism would be the lack of heart in the film as compared to say the Sonic movies. But again, I'm not necessarily the film's target audience. So it's not too big of a complaint. Overall me, my partner and my four-year-old son dressed as Mario I may add, had a blast with this in the cinema and absolutely look forward to more in the future. And all this comes from a Sega kid who never understood the appeal of Mario until this past Christmas when my son got a Nintendo Switch.